And I'm going to take you through a resistance set using the stability ball. So you want to make sure your sit bones are on top. You're going to put the flat head against the ball and you're going to compress to set up the spine. Make sure you're pushing really hard. This is going to add a different dynamic to the resistance training. And then I'm going to bring the arm out and press on the side of the ball. So this is great for shoulder stability. I'm not lifting my arms very high. Press down really hard. So the arm that is pushing on the ball is actually working harder. External rotation, internal rotation. That's unilateral and I'm gonna do both arms. Out, in, compress, and forward, out, compress. I'm gonna do a couple more. These are pretty difficult. We wanna work the shoulders through rotation. Center one more and then I'm gonna take the arms to the front right here and then I'm gonna lean on one elbow and go into a row. Now you can lean forward as far as what's comfortable for you, but you wanna extend the shoulder blade every time you push. Then I'm gonna add a couple different moves here. We only have about five minutes together. I'm gonna reach and row, lateral, anterior, and lateral. So this gives you a lot more variation of movement I am pushing hard, but I'm not throwing my arms. I'm squeezing, squeeze, reach, center. Let's do biceps. So notice my feet, I'm on my tippy toes. That's gonna create an element of balance. I'm doing a hammer curl. Of course, you can turn your weights out and do them differently. So let's do a couple slow like that. So anterior extension. And if you feel like you want a challenge, go ahead and take one foot off. That's gonna work the center of your body a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take that other side row and I might do a couple of different things here just to show you a rhythm change. Down, in, and full raise. So you can move your body, move your forward position and back position as you work. Then I'm gonna do a fly. So I'm gonna combine these a little differently on this side. Then watch how I turn my hand, thumb in, and I'm going between my leg. So that's completely different as well. And then anterior, lift, stay low. Lift, so vary the body position because it's gonna work the shoulders differently. One more, and I'm gonna go back to those biceps. This time I'm pumping one at a time, unilaterally. Now, I'm also gonna open my arms out to a big V. That's gonna create more back tension. Notice my posture. It's tight in the chest, lift, arms slightly behind the body. These are called V downs, V ups. We're gonna go V down, V up. Notice on the up, I'm leaning back. I do that to keep impingement out of the shoulders. It also engages more of the core. I'm gonna do a couple more. Now, if I wanted to do more shoulder work, I absolutely can do that right here. Armpit tight, great way to strengthen the shoulders. So I'm gonna go out, armpit, left. Notice again, I'm leaning back. Just to engage the core, keep the shoulders, out of impingement, then I'll do the other side, out. Now, if you wanna get fancy, you can add an extension of the leg and do a couple more. Last one. And then I'm gonna do triceps, push. So notice my kickback. I'm gonna squeeze the back of the arms and then I'm gonna add some rear delt, push. Keep your posture intact and then I'm gonna walk it on down right here. So as you walk it on down, I'm keeping that ball right up against my sacrum and lower back. Again, shoulder work in this position is safer for the shoulders and absolutely works the middle of your body more. So let's go out. This takes balance because the weight is going sideways. So every time the arm goes side, it's much more difficult. We're gonna do a couple more exercises. Let's do both arms. Push, reach, one more, hold it here. Then we're gonna party on the dance floor. Move your hips around. This is gonna work dynamically. Woo! One more set. 
four, center it, take a deep breath in, back to our original position, and we're just gonna dip down to the side. So for back strength, lateral work is key. You can be so playful and use the ball for more balance. I just am doing a little seated work today. Give me a couple more. Last one on each side. And then I'm gonna finish out with a compression. Look at my legs, I'm pushing down really hard. Adding load to the legs as you push down. I'm working the chest and the back. Two more and we're all done today. Let's do it, so it's out. One more. I hope you enjoyed some weight work on the stability ball. Catch me on Wednesday for Cardio Wednesday.